Nine facts about my intersex body that makes me different, one for every mile of my long run. Please go watch Jackie's entire video because it covers an important topic, which is the existence of intersex people and a condition called complete androgen insensitivity syndrome. Hi, my name is Mahitha. I'm a fourth year urology resident, and I'm gonna explain to you how you can have a Y chromosome, but still develop external female genitalia and a phenotypically physically female presentation. So at about six weeks in the uterus, an individual with a Y chromosome has a gene called the SRY gene on that chromosome that essentially tells the body to make testicles and not make ovaries. So what used to be these indeterminate structures called the gonads start becoming testicles and they start secreting a hormone called testosterone. The testicles also secrete a hormone called anti-malarian hormone that doubly ensures that we are not creating internal female reproductive organs. Testosterone is important for the development of male reproductive organs internally. Testosterone is converted into dihydrotestosterone, which is important for the development of male external genitalia, like the phallus and the scrotum. But in order for testosterone and dihydrotestosterone to work, it needs a functioning androgen receptor to receive their signals and execute these processes. And in people with complete androgen insensitivity syndrome, the receptor is not functional. This means that no matter how much testosterone the body has, the body does not receive the signal from those hormones. So the lack of testosterone makes the body think that we're going down the female external genitalia pathway. So individuals with CAIS develop a vaginal orifice with a clitoris. During puberty, the body starts creating a lot more testosterone. And in everyone's body, testosterone gets converted into estrogen. In individuals with CAIS, the testosterone receptor does not work, but the estrogen receptor does still work. And so individuals with CAIS develop breasts. And remember, because of that anti-malarian hormone that the testicles secrete, they do not have ovaries or uterus. The vaginal canal may also be very short. A multidisciplinary team of urologists, endocrinologists, and gynecologists may work together with an individual with CAIS to ensure that they feel comfortable with the way that they walk through the world. But one thing as a urologist that comes to mind that's important to touch upon is testicular cancer. The testicles need to be at a very specific temperature. It's why they hang outside the body in a phenotypic male. In individuals with CAIS, however, the testicles are still in the abdomen. This increases their lifetime risk ever so slightly for testicular cancer. Furthermore, the way that people usually detect testicular cancer is by feeling a lump on their testicle. You can't feel testicles that are in your abdomen. And this is where it's important to have shared decision-making between the multidisciplinary doctor team and the patient. Meta-analyses indicate that the lifetime risk for testicular cancer in individuals with CAIS is 1% as opposed to 0.4% in the general population. Ultimately, the risk is still very, very, very low. But some folks do not want to deal with that increased risk and may request that their testicles be removed. This means, though, that they are going to be on a lifetime supplement of hormones. Because even though the testosterone from the testicles may not be able to enact its function, the testosterone still gets converted into estrogen, which is good for bone health and has many protective effects on the body. On the other hand, some folks are willing to take the increased risk for testicular cancer because they do not want to have to take a pill for the rest of their life. In those folks, it's important to get some form of yearly imaging to make sure that there aren't any abnormal masses or cysts on their abdominal testicles. Once again, thank you, Jackie, for the work that you do. And for everyone else, I hope this explanation was helpful. Let me know your thoughts.